Today I want to talk about selecting a new helmet. I have had my current helmet for seven years. Manufacturers recommend that you change your helmet every five years. In purchasing a new helmet, I wanted to make sure that it was lightweight, that it had a sun visor, that it had a chin curtain, and that it had a comm system built in. I currently have a Scorpion XO helmet, which is very lightweight and it has a sun visor. Unfortunately, shortly after I bought the helmet, the uh, visor broke and I had to, as you can see, I have been manually pulling this sun visor out in order to use it. And uh, also Scorpions do not come with built-in comm system. So even though I love the fit of this helmet, uh, it was not an option for me in picking a new helmet. After doing some research and going to stores to try helmets on, I decided that I wanted to go with a modular helmet and that way I could still have the protection of a full face helmet, but I would have the convenience of being able to lift up the front visor. And given the criteria I listed earlier, I narrowed it down to the Shoei Neotech 2 and the Shoeberth C5 modular helmets. Now this video is not going to be a comprehensive list of all the specs of these helmets. I would encourage you to just go online and look up that information, but I wanted to include the likes and dislikes and observations that I made on these helmets that helped me come to the decision of which one I ultimately picked. Let's get into the differences and similarities of these two helmets. The Neotech is slightly heavier at 4.12 pounds versus the shoe berth, which is 3.99 pounds. However, when I put them on, uh, that difference in weight, I actually really couldn't feel any difference whatsoever. The show he has a chin strap that ratchets in. Let's put this on and take a look at a few things. The angle of the showy helmet is actually a little farther down. And so when this is ratcheted in place, I feel it pressing right on my Adam's apple. The chin straps on the C5 are angled more forward than the Neotech. So when I put this ratchet strap on, I didn't I don't have any pressure on my Adam's apple like I was feeling with the showy. The C5 has very narrow padding around the strap area, which I like compared to the thicker padding on the Neotech. Something I'm going to have to get used to with a modular helmet is when there is a chin curtain here, when you pull this down, it kind of catches on your chin. And then additionally, when I have these comms here, additionally, when I have the comm here, there's a little bit of a arranging that you have to do when you pull it down over your face. When you pull the showy helmet down, there is a very, very soft, light click. It's so light and soft that I don't always know that it's clicked into place. So I find myself pulling it down and then opening the top and then checking it one more time to make sure it's clicked into place. In the C5, there is a click when it closes and that click is a much firmer, louder feeling and sound. So I didn't have to uh, double check if it was locked into place. Another thing with the showy, when you have the visor down and you open your face shield, if you then have to open the full face shield and put it back down, the visor will always be closed. It, it will not stay in an open position. On the C5, when you open the visor, 
and then pull up your whole helmet and pull it back down, the visor stays open. The chin curtain on the C5 is actually removable. So in the summer, I can take out this little piece and have a little bit more airflow, but in the cooler temperatures, I can just leave that chin curtain in. And that's a nice added feature to have uh, the option to change out that chin curtain. The face shield has a very nice smooth feel and movement when you move it up and down. The face shield does have a pin lock to help with fogging. However, I did find that I couldn't quite just crack it a tiny, tiny bit. There was a, a much larger gap that had to happen uh, in order for it to stay open. The C5 also has a pin lock to prevent fogging and the ability to crack the face shield is a little different. You can have just a very, very, very tiny crack or you can have it a little bit farther open. It is a little bit more finicky as far as opening it. Uh, on the one side it kind of catches when you try to pull it open and then the other side it's much smoother uh, versus the showy was just smooth no matter what side you pulled on it. The sun visor on the showy is a little hard to find when it's actually on you. It is just above my nose. The sun visor slider is located just to the side of your face and slides back and forth quite easily. It is a tiny bit lower than the showy sun visor. It is above my nose, but I can tell by the line of sight that this one is a little bit lower than the other one. And the integrated comm system on both helmets is a Senna. We bought the Senna 2, which you can connect Bluetooth to uh, another to one other rider, uh, but of note, the Senna 2 will not link with your Google. So if that's what you use to make calls hands-free, you have to upgrade to the Senna 3. I have not tried out the comm system yet, but that will be for a later video. Do you like how smooth the comm system looks though, all built in? The C5 also uses a Senna comm system that is integrated into the helmet. Both of these helmets are very similar, but in the end, I ultimately chose the Schuberth C5 because of that click when you close the helmet, because of the optional chin curtain, uh, the chin trap padding was very important for feel for me, and also the location of the sun visor slider was much more convenient. Let me know in the comments if you have either of these helmets and what your thoughts are. I hope you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for all my adventures. Take care. Bye-bye.